less action is what we've seen when we visit the waste management and reduction scene. But there are a few individuals and bodies that have been taking uh, steps in the right direction and PACAM is one of them. Today we are going to be learning about PACAM, you know, familiarizing ourselves, you know, with the app and the individuals behind uh, PACAM in general. My name is Success Caminus. Welcome to Mother Earth. Welcome back. Just before we went on that break, I told you that we'd be learning about PACAM. We're here live at their head office and we're talking to the COO, Chief Operating Officer, in the person of Wumi Ogunde. Welcome, Wumi. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. Uh, a lot of the viewers would not notice that uh, we're finally talking to a woman. A woman is finally our guest. Hooray! <laughs> well Welcome to uh, the show. This place is so serene and nice and I like the glass going on. <laughs> well, we try to um, you know, make sure that the ambience is good for working. So I think that's very important when you're in a, an environment. So that helps your creativity as well. So. Mm. Of course. So let's just uh, go straight in and talk about uh, the importance of technology when it comes to waste reduction and just living sustainably. Right. Um, I think that's a very good um, place to start. I think that generally for the longest time, um, obviously the issue of waste management, the issue of recycling management and anything that has to do with that has been done very informally or very manually and of course the introduction of technology into this space will only make us do things more efficiently and effectively so having to do that it's been having Parkham on board now would actually help us to reach all those goals so you would look at um, you know Loma and the ministry everyone is looking at more a better way of doing things and in in the in the 20th century or 21st century that we're in now, everything is hinged around technology. So if we're not looking at technology to solve a problem, then we haven't really started doing anything. So again, effectively efficient way of managing waste, managing recyclables, managing anything that has to do with our environment is very important. Which leads me to my next question. So is there a limit to what PACAB, uh takes as recyclable or are we limitless can we just um, call PACAM to come and pick up just any um, type of waste um, so thank you again that's a very very good question so no and yes so I'll answer that in two okay ways. so um, no for starters it's, it's an application that you're supposed to bring in any type of waste whether it's plastic aluminium cans paper um, Endless, that mm. if we put it in that context. And however, because currently in, in Nigeria or even in, or I, let me bring it just to Lagos, we have very few um, recyclers that collect some certain material. So of course, so if you have some certain material, um, I'm trying to think of something now. Maybe, maybe TVs? Well, uh, no, there's actually electronic waste, so you can... Electronic, because, okay, yes, for Pakam as well. Yes, so TV can be picked up, so there's electronic waste that can be picked up. There are recyclers for that. So, but there are some very specific items, so maybe some type of plastic that we don't have someone to recycle them. So if just you call, yet. Just yet, exactly. So because we have a lot of people coming into the space. So if you request for a pickup and you have maybe one of those special types of plastic, you may not find someone to pick that up for now. But however, it's an evolving space. 
so people are coming in every day, day with different types of products um, collection that they need also whether it's um, a different type of material because within the so for example within the plastic family mm. we have about seven different categories of plastic right and in that seven different categories you may have a recycler that is speaking just one, so maybe PET, which is the very common one, that's the pet bottle, uh, drinking water, yeah. most people pick that. But if you go to the family of um, Plastic 7, those are the ABS, mm. exposing, so there are different types of plastic, so you might not have someone pick that up, but it's an evolving space, and I think that eventually we'll get more people on the platform to be able to solve that problem. And so by looking for more people to come on board, you're talking about the, um, I call them off takers. Yes, The correct. collectors. Yes, yes. Correct. So how has the relationship been so far? And um, how do you get these people to even know that there is a place to sign up and become an off taker? Right. Um, so obviously right now, uh, again, we're obviously a startup um, that has brought a, a very innovative solution within the space. So. Yes. You know, generally, when you don't understand something, you tend to, first of all, have a, like, a pushback approach, like, mm, I don't understand this. But There's a resistance when exactly. you start. Exactly, so you have a resistance, but not, I wouldn't call this a resistance, but it's just the fact that you don't understand. Mm. You probably just want to look at it, first of all, to see what happens and how it works, and then before you start getting on board. So initially, there was that aspect of where people didn't understand it. Then as, as they saw that, there was a lot of talks about what the application can do and how it will also benefit their business. If you remember, I talked about effectiveness and efficiency which is something that we all look into this business in the recycling space or even waste logistics is a major issue so you don't want to be driving and wasting your petrol up and down from here 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 not knowing whether there's a pickup or not but within the app you are able to download and see people requesting for you so you go to where you're needed not just randomly where nobody mm. wants you and just asking them everybody hello hello are you do you need plastic mm. or do you have plastic let me pick up so but Understanding that with the, on the side of the off-takers now has made them interested. So we get a lot of people calling to want to understand what the app does. We've had various meetings to want to come on board. And again, it's a it's a win-win for everybody. It's a we're we're looking at bringing up all the stakeholders because we can't do it alone. It's a collective work. Anything that has to do with waste or management, it's a collective approach. So right from the collectors, right from the household, from you know individuals like yourself and myself, right from there, the separation has to be done. Mm. Right to um, the app itself, the app has to ensure that the technology, we have to ensure that the technology is working. Then the off-takers will do their job in coming to pick up and making sure that the value chain run effectively and seamlessly. So. I think that based on the fact that um, off-takers have seen, you know, how seamless it can be and how it can, we've had a lot of um, feedback from people it's like, oh, why didn't you guys tell us about this thing? We should have joined since. Oh, this thing is working mm. for me. You know, it's effective, you know. So we always try to share that testimony to even people that we speak to so that, look, give it a try, see if it works. And if it doesn't work for you and you can genuinely say it doesn't work for you, then let us know. Mm. But, you know, we give that option to just give it a try and then, you know, a trial will convince you. Of basically. course, because there's no business. So I don't think there is a perfect business. Your clients or the people you are serving will tell yeah. you, oh, I like you too, but ah, maybe mm, tweak this a little tweak, bit, exactly. and then you keep tweaking exactly. until people just exactly, exactly. You know? until people pick up, and then you know it, it speaks for itself. Excellent. And 
you spoke about the household uh, waste and separation at household level. Is Pakam already uh, teaching people, right. you know? Are, are they already, are you already teaching people how to separate? Or is there something available on the app that just tells you, okay, um, this is how to separate your waste just in case you are, okay, you are, you are registered, you are now on board. Now, is there anything that directs you and say, okay, do not mix your waste um, and stuff? Okay, well, that's a good question. So thank you for that. So um, again, I think one of the things that we've done within Parkham is try to focus on, I always say focus on your focus, is we are an IT solution app company that has developed this. So our focus is that, however, we know that we cannot operate in isolation. So mm -hmm. we work with a lot of the um, NGOs, because NGOs are big on advocacy, mm. NGOs are big on education. Mm. So let everyone, f you know, so sort of like breaking the, uh, breaking the departments in itself. So the, obviously working with the NGOs, we're able to pass our information and advocacy through them. And also with the off-takers, we also have, uh, so we have all those sort of partnerships. So you partner. Exactly, we, like so, collaboration partnerships and to ensure that that message is passed out. Within the application, we'll probably would um, develop something that would obviously prompt people to let mm. them remember to separate because we all have to work together because even off-takers that want to go and pick up, they would want the waste separated. Of course, say, oh, it makes the job plastic, easier. This is this, it makes the job easier. Mm. And that's what we're looking for. So, well, right now we do a lot of partnership with people within the space that are existing. And luckily we've had a good, um, communication strategy even with Loma if you look I don't know if you've been seeing some videos online even on their page mm -hmm. talking about advocacy with um, Pakam and trying to enlighten people and so a lot of even that has been going on even with the um, Lagos State Waste Management Authority so it's been a good it's been a good run so far in terms of knowledge sharing um, communication to households and individuals mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy, winning you was so easy. I just couldn't stand those your powerful shots. That's what happened. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's go to my place for dinner. Mm. Mm. This fufu is so nice. It's true unripe plantain flour. True unripe plantain flour is delicious. Yes, true unripe plantain flour is what I serve my husband for swallows. It's easy to prepare. Fortified with vitamin A, low in sugar and cholesterol, rich in fiber that helps the heart, builds and strengthens the bone, and his energy level <laughs> is boosted. True unripe plantain flour, no additives, 100% natural, a product of Pali Agro Products Nigeria. Through unripe plantain floor, available in all leading stores nationwide. So another means uh, Pakam has made their app so um, catchy mm -hmm. is that uh, they give incentive mm -hmm. for um, taking people's waste. Okay. Yes. So um, first of all, I want to learn how do we up the value of this waste being collected because I've collected for one month and my storage is full mm. and these people will come and wait and say it's 1,000 <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah so how what steps are we taking or are right. you taking to 
increase the value because this is incentive to make people yeah. even want to follow the rules yeah. separate their waste even keep more plastic or any other waste it might be uh, for you and uh, even be a part of the app so yeah. how do we raise the value well oh, um, that's a very 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 good question <laughs> because I think that obviously when it comes to money just the same way you've asked a lot of people ask as well mm. so I think that one of the things that you know we've been fortunate to have is a partnership with Loma because um, again some you know the market value of some of these things are not as high as people think they are um, a lot of us doing um, providing some of the solutions are very environmentalist and we obviously not think of just now we also think of the future so based on that we're developing a lot of solutions around the problem so but going back to the money value so we sort of try to let people understand that first of all but then now going back to the money value for even giving them that incentive to do it so which is why I mentioned that we've been fortunate to have a partnership with Loma um, and this has given the opportunity for raffle draws so aside from the money that you would obviously make on uh, on, on the on waste Pacam, collection on the, on the waste collection that you bring you also have the opportunity to go into a raffle draw which gives you for every bag that you bring that's what Loma has um, so every little bag so this one you don't even have to wait for if you have 10 bags you would enter into the raffle 10 times and you can win as much as 10,000 naira so you just need to be part of the pool they can pick you as many times as possible mm. as long as you are logged in into the pool and these raffles are things that um, they have started doing and through the app as well which is something that we're looking forward to um, on the long run will give mo more people incentives to come on board if you can win 10,000 for in, for bringing in just one bag. I'm sure you come back. To, of course. You come back again. So so yeah, so we're looking at all these sorts of partnerships. So not just obviously with Loma, maybe we'll be able to secure this type of partnership with the bank or with even um, any agency that you know has um, sustainability as part of their core and they're able to provide this sort of incentives on the platform for people to just be a part of it and that would obviously increase the monetary value I wanted that we to, can bring. I was itching to add bottling companies, you know, all these people selling soda, yeah. you know, they're the ones clogging our drainage, oh they're not the ones, please, I didn't <laughs> say so, but then um, um, a, a company, a brand like Coca-Cola yeah. is making like um, effort to, oh, yes, yes, to, you know, yes. You have all of that now. Um, I think that just speaking to what your your comment, a lot of these brands um, that you have mentioned, I don't want to mention them, but a lot of these brands that you have mentioned, they are now actively becoming um, like a backbone for even the recycling collection space because obviously they've seen the they've seen the chaos. Of course. And now they are very key to ensure that there's impact. There's something called the EPR, the Extended Producer Responsibility, which a lot of them subscribe to or they're expected to subscribe to, which is sort of a whatever you put out, it's your responsibility to, to make it sure back it's in. So recycled. a lot of them are subscribed to that now and that's why there's a lot of, you know, all of them are coming out to ensure that they support recyclers, they support the apps, they support all these things to ensure that this work gets done. And so let, let's end it like this. What is, b b b before we end it, mm -hmm. what's in it for PACA? As a, an establishment, I feel people do business to grow, mm -hmm. to make money. Yes, we are saving the planet, but the cha-ching has to come has in, to of course. <laughs> so what's in it for PACA? Um, so I, I believe that, um, like you said, there's a lot, of the, a lot of us within this space, first of all, we're very passionate about what we're doing. Um, we can wake up and talk about it first and, and in our sleeps. <laughs> so you wake any of us up and say, oh, come on, we say we're up and ready to go. <laughs> so, but another very important thing for sustainability of even the business in itself to mm. be able to outlive us, it has to have income. And um, it's, so basically some of the things that we're looking at is obviously there's um, a model of um, subscription, there's a model for commission. Um, but however, because we're also still in the space of um, getting people to come on board, we're still looking at what may work or what may not work. But at the moment, we are looking at both options as a way of um, um, sustaining the business. So, uh, excellent. I would like to finally ask what the goal of PACAM is 
as moving forward mm -hmm. you're a startup company you are doing well you are getting recognition what's the next step where are you taking Pakam from here um, so I believe that the next step for Pakam is basically obviously we've started with Lagos to be able to um, take us you know a huge market share in Lagos and pass that message across so not just recycling also go into waste management so not so, and this is household waste compost waste um, all the furniture like you know there's so many different types of waste that we are generating that we don't sometimes you dispose of your furniture you think you're just getting but it's actually waste so mm. looking at that and ensuring that there's an efficiency on how all that is done there's a documentation on all that is done reports on all that is done and then also be being able to spread out to as many states as possible in Nigeria for starts and who knows we might also be moving out of um, the country the country and become so, international exactly <laughs> so you know we dream big you, you know you can never be too ambitious of course. so we will we'll keep pushing for for success fantastic you have enlightened me in fact I love it. I probably should come and be a part of it. You're my producer welcome. is not going. My producer is giving me stares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank it's you. been it's been amazing. Thank you. So we've been talking to Wumi Ogunde, the Chief Operating Officer here at PACAM. I hope you've learned one or two things. This is why you should be tuned in to Mother Earth. Make sure to take up social responsibility just as we teach and preach here on the show. My name is Success Caminus. Make sure to follow iBrand TV on all social media platforms. We are streaming live on YouTube. Make sure to be subscribed. Until we come your way next time, Mother Earth loves you. Goodbye. <laughs>